One day, my brother came back from school, primary school, and he told me his classmate, Josephine, told him that her God, she's a, Josephine is a Catholic, her God is a living God. You know, that, was a, uh, that was a very powerful message to, my, to me at least, because uh, my family has always been, tradi been a traditional Chinese family. We go to temple very regularly to pray to, to the Chinese god, the god of monkeys, Guan Yin. Yeah. So uh, we've been, yeah, for generations we've been doing this. And so to, to, to say that, you know, her god is the living god, it's like saying that my god, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not the living god, it's an idol. That was a, a very powerful message to me, you know. It's like God stepping into my life and say, look, here I am. You know? I'm Damien Lim. Uh, I'm, I'm Singaporean of Chinese origin. My, well, my, my, my dad was an uh, immigrant from China during the Second World War. The first person to convert to the to the Christian faith in my family is my brother Aloysius. You know, he, thanks to a thanks to a friend, in whom he met in the military service. I think he's called Cyprian. Yeah, Cyprian was a Catholic, and Cyprian started doing uh, apostolate. Started talking to my brother about the Catholic faith, and that's how my my brother became a Catholic, and how he in turn. You know, my, my, my brother started bringing books back, you know, books about the Catholic faith. He started putting it in a bookshelf of my house. And that's where I got curious as well. I started reading books on the Catholic faith. I, I went to a Centre Opus Dei to start my catechism. And uh, after, after like a year of receiving catechism, I, I became, I, I got baptized and then it came to the question of vocation, you know. I felt that, you know, I, I think I have a vocation to work, you know, because uh, as you know in many Chinese family, work is a very much a part of life, you know. The Chinese, we are, so to speak, we are known to work a lot, you know. But what is the meaning of that work, you know. Uh, I've seen my, my dad, for instance, he rests only two days a year two days a year, but uh, of course clearly his meaning is to be a father of a family, raising up a family, and I always have my dad as, you know, as, as a very virtuous man. But what does work mean for me? You know? And I think the vocation to Opus Dei sort of helped me leave that, um, helped me realize that apart from hard work, I could leave the idea of carpe diem, you know, I could live ordinary life doing my working intensely like a like like a Chinese, like a good Chinese, but finding meaning in, in the most little things. I went to Taiwan and I started working in a in a French bank as an as an anal, as a business analyst. And it was a very fruitful experience, you know, to to be there and to, to be in a company. To, to be working with, with some, some of the top professionals you know, in, 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 in the financial world. I, I like my work in the financial sector a lot. But on the other hand, I think I could be more involved. You know? I, my life could be more meaningful, responding to God's call to do His business. Yeah, um, I, my, my family has always been in the fruit business. Yeah, my dad has a small fruit store. Yeah, later on, I did my MBA. I was working in a bank. Again, I was in the business of money. And then now, it's, it's the time you know, that I feel that I can contribute a lot to this business of God the Father. You know? My parents never quite fully understand my vocation. Well, understandably, you know. But uh, just Four years ago, my dad passed away on 23rd December 2007. 
But on 1st December 2007, he was baptized together with my mother. So again, uh, it's, I, I, it's, it's a very beautiful gift from God. You know, I, I thank God and I also thank all the Catholics, you know, who have, who have like, uh, like Josephine, you know, like Cyprian, and like many others who stand up for their faith, who give testimony to their faith to, to, to help the uh, pagans like I was and my family, you know, all of us were pagans. So, and I encourage them really to, to go out to, to do a lot of apostolate with, with pagans. You know, that there are many people out there without any faith, dying, you know, uh, longing to know the Christian faith.